In this video, we're going to be going over the different types of duplication that you can do inside of Blender. So first off, let's just get out of our full screen mode and do control spacebar com or control command spacebar. And you can tell that the other views, the item is enlarged quite dramatically. So to fix that, let's just go ahead and you can sc scroll up and down right here if you need to roll these. And let's do view frame selected. Or you can hit period on the numpad and frame those up real quick. And I'm going to turn off my tools and my information. So to duplicate this Suzanne model, I'm going to go to object and duplicate objects. Or you can just simply type shift D. And now when you move your mouse around, you'll notice you have a duplicate. This is an, a, a hard copy of Suzanne. It's an independent copy from this original model here. And if you want to be a little bit more precise, you can hit X on your keyboard there and just slide her to the right and you can tell kind of just barely get their ears to touch and click and that will bring in our duplicate so this is a hard copy of Suzanne and that's the first duplicate It's actually a standalone duplicate the next type of duplication that you can do in blender is a duplicate linked and if I click on that, it's also Alt-D, but notice it, it looks very similar. I can move it all around. I can lock it to the x-axis here. But the one thing that is different about this third and mysterious monkey is that if we go into edit mode, so let's say I take this middle monkey, this the parent of this child monkey, since they are linked. If I click on the middle one, and hit tab on my keyboard, notice that if I click on one of these points here, you can click on any one of these points, maybe the one on the top of his head, and if we hit G to grab that point, notice that the third monkey is getting the exact same thing done to it. So that is why they are linked. Most of the time, you're just gonna use the old original hard duplicate. You know, that's what I use most of the time, but you can duplicate linked if that is the effect that you are going for. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. So if you haven't been following along, the challenge is to make two different duplicates of Suzanne here. One that is a hard duplicate with Shift D and another one that is a linked duplicate with Alt D. All right, good luck and I'll see you in the next video.